Do you wake up tired? Do you snore a lot? Is your spouse scared for you to go to sleep because you might stop breathing? Well, guess what? You might have sleep apnea. Welcome to Battle Buddy Ben, and in this episode, we're going to go over the following. What is sleep apnea? What are the ratings and how can you get each? And what information you need to put into your claim for sleep apnea? So what is sleep apnea? I am going to share my screen. Sleep apnea is a potentially serious sleep disorder in which breathing repeatedly stops and starts. If you snore loudly and feel tired even after a full night's sleep, you might have sleep apnea. There are three types of sleep apnea. There is obstructive sleep apnea, central sleep apnea, and treatment emergent central sleep apnea. So what is obstructive sleep apnea? You can see it down here in the images at the, bo the bottom. It's where the tongue and you know, airway close off and it prohibits you from breathing. So you can see that in that right image. The left image is a normal airway and you're breathing properly. The right image is when it's obstructed. So what are the symptoms? The symptoms are loud snoring, episodes in which you stop breathing during sleep, gasping for air during sleep, awakening with a dry mouth, morning headache, difficulty staying asleep known as insomnia, excessive daytime sleepiness known as hypersomnia, difficulty paying attention while awake, and irritability. If you like what you're hearing so far, if you're finding this information useful and helpful, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and check out my website. So let's continue. We are at the sleep apnea disability schedule straight out of title 38, part four, subpart B. You can see it is 6847 is a disability code, sleep apnea syndrome, obstructive central or mixed, which I said before, there's three different types of sleep apnea. And then these are what you can get rated for. You can get rated for at zero, 30, 50, or 100%. So let's go on and look at 0%. 0% is asymptomatic, but with documented sleep disorder breathing, you need to go probably get a sleep study to do this, go to a specialist, an expert, and get this documented to get 0%. Next is 30%, persistent daytime hypersomnolence or hypersomnia, so daytime tiredness, you're fatigued. So you not only do you have documented sleep disorder breathing, you're not asymptomatic anymore. You have you are hypersomnia, which means you're tired during the day. And you need to get that documented. Where do you put this? You might not be able to get it documented other than when you go to your sleep study or you go see your primary care physician. You will have to put this into your statement in support of claims. You will also might have to get an app to show this. An app to say, I feel tired today. I have documented sleep disorder breathing. You know, then you can get this. Again, no rating is ever guaranteed. So you need to get the right documentation, the right evidence to put yourself in the best spot to win your claim. Next is 50%. So 50% requires the use of assistive device such as a continuous airway pressure machine or CPAP. So unless you are using a CPAP machine, you will not get 50%. So you can, if you get a CPAP machine and you're using it, you can put in for an increase if you have to start using it, or if you have it, you can put in the evidence that you have it. It was prescribed by a physician so you have that and you can submit that evidence and get potentially 50%. Now to get 100%, you need to have chronic respiratory failure with carbon dioxide retention or is core pulmonal or requires a tracheostomy. This is bad stuff, people. You do not want to be 100% for sleep apnea because you're in really bad shape. But there is a possibility for you to get 100%. So what do you need to win? You need a nexus or in your service medical records. So what I'm saying is your sleep apnea had to have started during your service. If not, you're going to probably have to go to a sleep study 
get that performed, get an IMO from an expert or specialist, and get that documented, get that submitted. There is a DBQ for sleep apnea, and we're gonna go over that. So you need to fill out, if your specialist or your doctor will not fill out your DBQ, you're probably gonna go to a CMP exam, and they're gonna fill it out there. So I would study that. You need to have evidence that you have a CPAP machine if you want to get something higher than 30%. You need to put, you need to write your statement in support of claims and get buddy letters so that the VA raters know how your sleep apnea is affecting your ability to have gainful employment and your social life. Here is the DBQ. This is cut out from the DBQ. This is the latest one that I could find on VA.gov. You can see there's different sections. You know, you can see that they're, they're looking for obstructive, central, or mixed. They're asking for your medical history in section two. Section three is finding signs and symptoms. And, you know, then section four is other pertinent physical findings, complications, conditions, signs, or symptoms. So again, this could cause other problems for you. So you can potentially get a secondary claim for this, you know, based off of this, I mean. And then going over to the right side, Section five is diagnostic testing. So have you had a sleep study? If you did, bring the evidence with you to the CMP exam. If not, they're going to order one. And then section six is your functional impact. So again, your statement of supportive claims. When you submit your claim, you should have written a statement of supportive claims. You should know what symptoms and how it's affecting and impacting your functionality either at work or in your social life. So you should have this memorized again before you go to your CMP exam if you need to fill this out there that you should memorize and study and practice for it so that you can quickly say what you how it affects you. And again, when you go to a CMP exam, you don't want to say anything other than what is needed to answer the question. Well, that's all for sleep apnea. Hopefully, it's enough information that you will win and be successful at your claims. If you have any questions, please place them in the comments section or send me an email at contact at battlebuddyben.com. If you like what you viewed, hit the like button, the subscribe button so that other people know to find this video and that the algorithm in YouTube puts it in their feed. Check out my website. I have a lot of great links, templates, and information there. And the my website is www.battlebuddyben.com. Keep up the good work and good luck with your claim.